Samsung finally made it with Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel hope you all doing well. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 will come with much faster and comes with updated internal that make this phone a best foldable phone of this year but one competitor of Galaxy Z Fold 4 will be very tough and you all know about that. Samsung is going to launch Galaxy Z Fold 4 in August along with the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and 3 models of Galaxy Watch 5 including Ultra model with almost double battery compared to its predecessor. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 is going to come with two new colors that I've already discussed in my previous video but now the processor of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 is confirmed. Before moving on, if you like the content, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 or Google Pixel Notepad, which one would you prefer this year? As we already know, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 come with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus processor, but it wasn't confirmed. Since a couple of other news are surfing around, the Samsung is planning to launch a new technology in the second half of the year, and that was most probably Exynos processor. But according to the IC Universe, it is now confirmed that Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Flip 4 come with TSMC Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus processor, which is potentially a great news for the foldable users. And with that processor, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 is going to be 10% much faster than the previous generation Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which was used in Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And the big issue is its heating problem. According to the leak, Samsung is going to fix this with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus, so it can deal with heating and possible throttling. And while a Achieving, we say it can last for a long compared to previous generation Z Fold 3 because both phones have the similar battery, just the processor will be changed. So we just hope Samsung will optimize this phone enough to give more than 5 to 6 hours of screen on time and can last for at least a day. Although Samsung is making small changes, still Samsung is predicting a record sales for both foldable devices. Samsung is planning to ship 13 million units of foldable phones this year which is a big number. It cutting back the price for about $100 make this phone more appealing to the foldable users while standing at $1799. Samsung is also making changes with colors where now we see two new colors beige and grey instead of green and silver. Meanwhile, Samsung is also changing its screen ratio a bit, but don't expect a big difference. Since some people think that it will be smaller just like Oppo Find N, clearly it is not going to happen, at least for now. The changes are very minimal, since outer display only gets smaller for about 0.01 inches going from 6.2 inches to 6.19 inches, and we may see a small difference in the inner display, which is quite noticeable, more square type shape. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 also has a big competitor which we see in the end of this year, Google Pixel Notepad, which will be much smaller and have other things which people want in from the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So with that being said, if you came this far, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 or Google Pixel Notepad, which one would you prefer this year? I'll see you next time, till then, peace out!